fantastic day. I'm here today with my model Rachel. Um, she has been around for a while. Yeah, you've been around for a while. You've been a model for me for a while. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using vivids, but we're not going to be doing any bleaching. So we're going to be creating an overlay over what we've got here. And I just want to show you the power of vivids over darker hair and which shades that I would recommend using. I'm going to go ahead and use Fuchsia today because it's one of my favourites and you can see the big difference between the last video that we did when we lightened and today with no lightening. So let's get everything all started. We do have a little bit of regrowth in here. It's really tiny, but it's important to touch it up because this is all previous color that had lightning underneath. So if we go through and we pop a vivid overlay over all of the hair, the hair's gonna be more porous through the rest and then there's gonna be natural at the top. So it's important to go through and do a touch up. So we're just gonna go through with hybrid lotion and 440 and 550, and that's going to give us a really nice base. chosen just to use fuchsia. It's one of my favorites and fuchsia is really, really good to use on deep levels. So if you want a bit of a reflect on darker hair, I would definitely recommend using fuchsia red or the deep purple if you have some sort of lightness coming through, but definitely don't expect a deep purple result. Stick with fuchsia, it'll always be fine. opposed to going in with a tint to get this color in the situation is that you're going to get a richer reflect a lot of the time using a vivid color because the pigment is going to be more vibrant as opposed to you know being mixed with a developer so as you can see it's super shiny and glossy look at it i wish there was more sunlight so we could see it a bit better turn your head to sleep on me yeah it's super silky and lovely and nice and even throughout so we've done a little bit of a chop as well and we're almost ready to go. I think we should put a wave in it though. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. 